Hi, my name is Ryan, and today I'm going to help walk you through how to create a custom DVD uh, menu system or, or, or a, a custom DVD, really, period, exporting the DVD um, in Adobe Encore CS6. So first of all, we're going to be here in Adobe CS6. If you don't have CS6, uh, I do have a video that kind of explains how to go about doing that. It's rather simple. If you have the Adobe Creative Cloud, then it's something you can access, at least right now, you can access it for free. Um, it's just, it's going to be, it's going to take a little bit of effort for you to do this, but it's it's very well worth it. So let's dive right in. So first of all, we're going to, right when we open up uh, Encore, we're going to be, we're going to have this page here. We're going to click on New Project. We're going to name the project that we want, and then we're going to give it a location. So I've already given it a location earlier. Um, and we're going to select if we want to export it as a, a Blu-ray or a DVD. And in my case, I'm going to be exporting it as a, as a DVD. And then uh, NTSC, since I'm in the US, and click OK. So now we have a blank project. And uh, this is set up very similar to, uh, wow, excuse me, it's, it's set up very similar to Premiere Pro. If you're familiar with Premiere Pro, then um, this kind of will make a little bit of sense to you. So. Uh, we're going to be look, working mostly in this upper left pane and then uh, a little bit in this right pane right here. So right here we have four tabs. We have project, menus, timelines, and then build. So project is the project as a whole. Um, we're not really going to be working with timelines and menus like these two tabs anyway. Um, and then build will be once it's, once it's all said and done and you're ready to create the DVD, you're going to come in here and name the project and you're going to test it to make sure that it functions properly. And then you can go ahead and export your DVD. So let's, let's get started. First of all, we're going to come to this project pane and we're going to right click and we're going to import as, we're going to import our menus first because I know where my menus are. And I have a main menu. And then I also have a scene selection menu. So we're going to import both of those files. Shouldn't take too long to do that. And then I also have a contact menu. So in my videos, I put a menu that, that allows people to be able to contact me. So I've created this standardized contact menu. And these menus are all created in Photoshop. So uh, my, my menus are not the most beautiful menus in the world. They're not really that great. Um, anybody who has more experience in Photoshop will make far better menus than I do. But we've got, so this is the main main page. So when you insert the DVD into your DVD player, Blu-ray Blu player, whatever, this is the menu that's going to show up. You have these, uh, these layers. Each of these text pieces is a layer. And then Again here, this is the scene selection menu. So we're going to start with this main menu. And you see this little play button right here to the left side of the scene selection menu? That means that that menu is going to be what pops up initially when people pop in the DVD. We want to change that because I want to have my main menu be what, be what shows up. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to click set as first play. So that this here is going to be the first play. So now we're going to be working down here in the bottom right corner where it says layers. So uh, CS6 recognizes that each, each one of these um, layers of text is a layer and you can make it a button. So uh, we're going to go through and make these things about. So I'm going to do this very methodically. Um, we're going to go to full, we're going to go down here on the right hand side. We're going to click on full movie that we're um, on the right hand, so there's three columns, one, two, three. On the right column where it says full movie, we're going to check that box. And then we're going to go to scene selection and we're going to check that box. And then with contact, we're going to check that box. There's a reason that I do it in that order and that's because every time you click, every time you, uh, you allow that now to become a button, there's a number value here, one, two, or three, or however many buttons you have, however many pieces of text you have on the screen. Um, each, everything has a value. So if you're scrolling down with an up, you know, with your remote up or down um, through your DVD menu, it's going to go from one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. So by making full, by activating full movie as number one, and then scene selection as number two, and then contact as number three. It puts them in order automatically. Otherwise, you have to go through and manually change that. Now we want to go through, go ahead and import our video files. 
So in this case, I have two there. We're going to import. And that imports them as a timeline. And then I'm going to import one more timeline. And that is found here. OK. So now we're going to go back to the main menu. And, let, and we're going to be working on that. But here down in the left hand corner of this top left project column or uh, panel, we're going to check this little thing right here. We're going to uncheck assets because we don't want, I don't want to clutter this. You may have a lot more uh, chapters in here than I do. Uh, I only have a few, but I don't like to have things cluttered. I like to have things very simple. So this is a wedding video that we're editing. So there's not really a lot. There's just three um, titles that we're working with. So we're going to go, we're going to go to the main menu, make sure that we're selecting that. And then we're going to click on the full movie uh, title. We're going to, in the upper right hand corner here where it says link and not set. That means that that button, when you click on it, it's not going to do anything. So we want to make sure that this starts our, let's see here, which one do we want to put it on? Right there. Okay. Now we want to go down to scene selection. And once again, we're going to go up here to link. We're going to click on this little spiral, this little swirly looking thing. And we're going to link this to where it says scene selection menu. So scene selection menu is just another menu. Okay. And then contact, I want that to go to my contact menu page, which is a separate menu page, right? So full movie is going to start my uh, highlight film, which is right here. And then now we're going to go to the scene selection menu. We're going to do the same thing. So highlight is the first line of text. So we want to have highlight. We want to uncheck that first and make sure that that's the text that gets on that gets a box around it. We want to go to reception, do the same thing. And then we want to go to let's see best wishes right there. And then we want to go to I want to let's see I want to decide do I want back to go first or contact. Let's go let's go back and then contact. Okay, so now we want to click on the text itself. Now that we have all these buttons activated, we want to actually connect them to something. So we're going to go to uh, link, highlight. We're going to link that over to this edit 1.2 internet copy. That's my highlight film. And then reception, we want to link to the, let's see, reception, highlight film, which is that right there. And if you have a hard time seeing it, you can drag it out. Um, best wishes, we're going to link to best wishes. And then back, we're going to link back to the main menu. And then contact is going to link to my contact page menu. So now we're going to go to the menu, my contact page menu. And this back, I've already activated. I, I did something when I created it and made it automatically activate. So um, we're going to link that to the main menu so that it goes back to the main menu all the time. Okay, so now that we've got all that set up, now we've got the menus themselves set up, we have to actually make the video uh, go from one chapter to the next. So if you're creating a movie, you want to create you know, little breaks for, for a TV commercial or something like that, you're going to want to make sure that it connects to the next uh, chapter. So we're going to go to uh, edit 1.2 internet copy, that's my main video. And once, right here it says end action, once the video ends, we need we need this DVD to know what it's supposed to do. And what I want it to do is I want it to play the next portion of the video itself, which is going to be the reception part. And then we're going to click on the reception, double click it. And then we're going to, that activates that. We're going to go back over here to the right panel again. And end action, we're going to change to best wishes. So we're just basically connecting um, all these different things. Uh, best wishes is the last. We have three portions of video. This is the last portion of video. We're going to connect this back to, uh, let's see, we're going to take it to the contact page. So they're going to watch one, two, and three chapters. After the three chapters, it's going to go back to the menu page. And then once we have all that done, we're going to go ahead and click on the build tab. This is where everything comes together. And uh, this is where you can name your project. So I'm going to name it. Um, Elena and Ramiro wedding DVD 
And this is where it tells you if you have enough space, which I do. And then DVD disc is what we're exporting it as. And then we want to check project. And what this will do is this is going to check to make sure that all of your um, all of your video files, all of your timelines are connected to something, all the buttons are activated and all that stuff. So I did the check, it has no problem. So this DVD is ready to be built. So now we literally just put in our DVD into the DVD slot. And we make sure that it's named right there. We make sure that it looks the way we want it. And we click on, oh, we do, we'd also do select the number of uh, copies that we want. And then we click on build. So it's gonna take, you know, depending on the length of your, of your video and the uh, speed of your computer, it'll take anywhere from, you know, 15 minutes. I, I've had them take as long as, as an hour or so just to render. But once it's rendered the first, uh, once it's compiled the, the DVD for the first time, all it has to do is rewrite the information. It's a lot faster for, for the subsequent DVDs. So the first one's going to take a while, but the subsequent DVDs will take a lot less time. So if you know you're creating 10 DVDs, I highly recommend putting the number 10 right here and just letting it write through. Uh, but anyway, that's how you create a custom DVD menu without having to use any, uh, any of the crappy DVD menu services that are out there. Um, I know that um, Adobe um, Premiere, what is it, Premiere Elements has a built-in DVD uh, menu builder. It's, it's not that customizable, so this way it gives you control. If you can create something in Photoshop, then you can really create something cool. You can finish it up here in Adobe uh, Encore CS6. So I hope you liked the DVD. If you have any questions, uh, I, I, I know I, I didn't script any of this. I literally just kind of went with it as I went. So if you have any questions, if I left something out, uh, please leave me a comment and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you and have a great one.